individuals from all over New England come to fish, paddle, hike, swim, and view the wildlife along the Deerfield River. The Deerfield River is judged to be one of the top whitewater runs in the southern New England area. The popularity of whitewater boating and tubing has attracted and increased numbers of river users. Many parties have expressed recreation safety concerns along the Deerfield River. These concerns include alcohol consumption, lack of safety equipment, unpredictable water level changes, high water hazards, and pedestrian safety. One of the problems that the town of Charlemagne has been facing is drinking alcohol in the river. It has been difficult for the town to enforce the Massachusetts law because there is not an enforcement clause for police or environmental police. This footage, shot in the summer of 2006, shows the increase of drinking on the river. This increase of alcohol consumption has had a negative impact. An intoxicated person often becomes fatigued and reacts slowly to situations, especially in the heat or the glare of the sun. Swimmers are especially prone to the effect of alcohol. Alcohol interferes the disorientation a person feels when in water, often causing a person to swim down rather than to the surface. Underage drinking has also become an increasing problem along the Deerfield River. There are many safety concerns not only for the individual drinking the alcohol, but also for the river users around them and the potential rescue crew. Carrie Banks went kayaking from the lower part of the gap to her father's property along the Deerfield River. On her way, she picked up several items from floating in the river and on the river bank. Two beer bottles, both of them were in the water, not drunk or both drunk. One well, drunk. one drunk and then one could have, full. it doesn't look like it was half full. Yeah, has something in it. Um, beer can that we saw somebody throw out in front of us. Um, this is what we picked up on the rocks right off our property here as there's coming down. Three um, packs of cigarettes plus a beer can plus a lighter. Jeez, that's a lot of money right there. Um, notice that this is Bud Light, this is Budweiser. Got a Coors Light box, no Coors Light cans. I wonder where those went. Another pack of cigarettes and matches also picked up on our property. Um, Miller Lite little can, full can of beer, Budweiser. Um, water bottle, another water bottle, another Gatorade bottle, another water bottle, this one full. Um, empty beer can, full beer can. Material like this one floating in the water can be hazardous to wildlife and to the environment. Broken glass in or out of the river is very dangerous to people and the wildlife. Here is a picture of an abandoned tube with an empty beer can. It raises the question, what happened to its owner? Is he or she floating down the river intoxicated, endangering not only themselves but others using the river? Here is an example of good citizenship. A couple visiting the area and enjoying an afternoon on the river stopped at a spot where tubers had gathered and they cleaned up beer cans left behind. The Code of Massachusetts regulation states that any person under 12 years of age aboard and above any vessel underway on the waters of the Commonwealth shall wear at all times a Coast Guard approved personal flotation device of type 1, 2, or 3 also applies to children under the age of 12 who are required to wear PFDs while canoeing, kayaking, and rafting. Helmets are also recommended. Another safety issue that people are not aware of is the proper way to be safe on the river. For an example, if you fall in on your tube, canoe, raft, or kayak, you should always point your feet downstream and swim to shore. People should also be aware of foot and body entrapment. Here is a similar example of what a foot entrapment would be. A foot entrapment is where your foot gets caught between a rock and the current of the water goes over your back pushing your face down into the water. Property owners along the Deerfield River have reported numerous problems with people trespassing. Here is an example where the landowner approaches trespassers to ask them to leave the property. However, these requests are often ignored. As you see in this photo, people ignore signs posting the property. These groups often leave behind trash, broken glass, cans, and other items. These items are often hazardous to not only the river users, but the landowner, his or her family, and pets, as well as the wildlife in the area. Another problem has been people relieving themselves on private property, often in full view of other people. This year in particular, people are starting to bring their pets along with them. 
Some are on leashes in the boat or wrapped, but many are swimming free, allowing the pet to go on private property where other pets and children may be. We cannot wait to address these issues until several people are seriously injured or die while recreating on the Deerfield River. A large number of people involved in the river recreation recognizes the fact that there are safety deficiencies that could contribute to serious injuries and deaths. The town needs support from the state and local representatives to address these issues. We should take every step we can to promote a safe and enjoyable river recreation experience on the Deerfield River.